What's good, YouTube land? Weird Collector here. We're doing another Pokemon unboxing, although I haven't done one in a long time. It's also convenient that it's probably less than a week from when this video is being recorded. The uh, Pokemon DLC is coming out for Sword and Shield, at least part one of it, which I haven't decided whether I want to pick up yet. But this box has some Sword and Shield packs in it, so it's connected somewhat. Not really. But this is a Tag Team Powers Collide box. So the Tag Team, either being Deoxys and Espeon, which I picked Espeon because Espeon's awesome, or Darkrai and Umbreon, because I'm guessing they're both black. That's really the only connection I can think of for a Tag Team. Although this connection I don't understand either, I just like pink, and Espeon is pink. So we have the... The oversized card, which always love me some oversized cards. A right here. GX for Eevee. So reflective. A GX for Tortuga? No, Caracosta. Tortuga is the base form. Yeah. And we have a uh, Umbreon and Dark Cry card right here. And a smaller version of the Espeon and Deoxys card. Along with the tag team powers collection on the top, they also give a little, not really a bio, but like, oh, they also give their Pokedex number for Espeon, Deoxys, Umbreon, Darkrai, Eevee, and Caracosta. Along with a little blurb, massive cards with major powers, but not major guns. Feeling strong, then you're ready for the Pokemon TCG tag. There's a thing they did, the tag team cards. It was a run. I don't really pay attention much to the card anymore. Although I'm wondering if Sword and Shield will actually bring me back into collecting them. A huge lineup of tag team Pokemon, Pokemon GX, and much more. This collection delivers two tag team Pokemon. Uh, cards, special artwork. Five additional Pokemon promos. Uh, oh, there are also three more promo cards featuring Leafeon, Glaceon, and Regigigas for some reason. And eight TCG booster cards. So this is one of the bigger sets. It's uh, priced at about $60 Canadian. So uh, maybe one... One day they'll have a Mr. T trading card in it, but well, it would be a collector's item at that point. So, box up to the side. Here's the plastic. Ah, aye, 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 aye. So, let's take all the booster packs. Right here. The big card with the etched artwork. Here you get a good shot of it. This attack does 30 more damage for each of your bench psychic Pokemon, so 10 damage. So if you have, if you're running a predominantly psychic deck, you could have up to 5 bench psychic Pokemon, so plus. Ooh. That could be that could be up to 160 damage if your whole bench is for three psychic energies, and then cross division, put 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. If this Pokemon has at least three extra energy attached to it, in addition to this attack cost, put 20 damage counters on them instead. Oh, so not not like because one damage counter is 10. So you would put, so you could do a hundred, you'd be doing a hundred or two hundred damage. 
however you want. You could knock out a... Interesting. And then we have this piece. Hilariously, I'm, I'm going to remove the code card before I show you this. The uh, three promos are just literally on the backs of the other cards. It's kind of, it makes sense. What do you think about it? <laughs> There's Richie Gigas. Ah, oh, God. This is also going to lead to bending cards. Ay, ay, ay. God. I, I hate how they, like, intentionally have to pop out the card. Just because they have little nubs that are keeping it in place. I don't know if you can see it that well. Little nubs there. That literally force you to bend the card if you're not paying attention. Okay, so let's look at this stuff. Code card. We have the uh, same promo card we just saw in a smaller, more playable format. We have the etched artwork for Eevee GX. Aw, Eevee. Ascension DNA. Ability, once per, once during your turn before you attack, you have a Pokemon in your hand that evolves from Eevee. You may put that card onto this Pokemon to evolve it. It's had that ability since je, since the original card game. Although, I don't know if you... I think it would actually... Unless you have like a Espeon or Umbreon, something... I don't think putting a... Nor, a like a regular... like I don't think putting this Leafeon on top of EVGX would actually make it stronger. It actually make it weaker. Boost dash is a hundred for three colorless. And Joymaker puts three cards from your discard pile into your hand. Not a not a bad support uh ability, I think. Then again I still I haven't played the game in forever. Uh Umbreon and Darkrai. I like that. Also, again, with the etched artwork, which it, it, it'd be able to, can't really tell the difference unless you physically feel the card. But the, the non art artwork, the non uh, etched artwork card has a flat feeling. Well, the etched artwork, you can feel the etching. The It's kind of like that uh, velvet stuff. You know, you rub on it and it, I don't know what I'm talking about. So it has Black Lance for 150. This act is 60 more or does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench GX or bench EX. Don't apply weakness resistance. So not bad for two uh two dark and a colorless. So you're basically doing 200 210 damage to two. Like you could still knock out a Pokemon with that. No, you can't knock out a GX though. It's just it's just kind of chipping away. And Dark Moon for one, for one colorless plus your opponent like it actually one cut co like co a colorless energy plus literally your opponent can't play any trainer cards from their hand during their next turn. Okay. If this Pokemon has at least five five extra cut. Uh, dark energy attached to it in addition to this attack's cost. So you have a total of six energy. Your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Okay. I guess that's that's cool. Uh, we have Caracosta, who's not at start work. But... Uh, high density armor. This Pokemon has full HP. It takes 90 less damage from your opponent's attack. Ooh. So you could, you could, it's a tank, basically. If if your opponent can't do more than 90 damage, they can't hurt Karakost in, in any attack. They could still probably hurt it with uh, trainers and such, but and, the, and uh, abilities, but. Ground Crush, that's 160. 
Defending Pokemon can't retreat to your opponent's next turn. Nice. Stone Age for one colorless. Put any number of Pokemon that evolved from unidentified fossil. I do have a deck centered around un unidentified fossil, so I might use this guy. But I, do I have a tier 2 guy? I think I might. No, I definitely have some tier 2 guys. From your discard pile onto your bench. Can't use... <laughs> Then we have Glaceon. I'm not going to read, and I'm just going to. Yep. Leafeon. Uh, I think they're. Are they hollow? Uh, no, but the Reggie Gigas is. So those are all the promos. Let's get into the stack of packs. So we've got we've got two sword and shield, uh, two mm, cosmic eclipse, one uh, one sun and moon, one sun and moon lost thunder. And one evolutions, I have Y, and one celestial storm. So I'm just going to go in the order I have them right here. So we're going to start with Cosmic Eclipse. And again, it's been a long time, so I don't really remember the order for how you're supposed to. Oh, the pack. The pack failed to. Packs being a smart ass on me. There we go. Rip. So, take this away. Let's get in. We've got a Skrulp, a Pikachu, Teddy Ursa, Nose Pass, Litlio. Ooh, a Victini. Speaking of evolutions, you got a freaking, you got a Sylveon as the rare in the pack. Oh, this guy, this one works with a uh, tag team supporters. This is this attack does eighty more damage. Wow, okay. A fire energy and a. Colorless. The draw energy. This card provides colorless energy. Ooh, when you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, uh, draw a card. Cosmo, this thing which was uh, barely in the game as a plot point in Sun and Moon. Cosmoem. Moem? Cosmoem. Falls from Cosmog. Uh, Clay. Uh, black and white, I think, was Clay. I don't remember. Let's the top seven cards of your deck. Eh. And, yep, that's the pack. Let's do Cosmic Eclipse, pack number two. Tangela, Dusko. It's still weird to me that Ghost never got like Ghost Dragon Ice. Well, Ghost or Dragon got its own type in the card game eventually, but then it got taken away. The Ghost. Um, let's see, Ice, Ground, Rock. They're just they're they're not represented. They're just represented by psychic and water and fighting, like you know, uh, time pole. Piplup. I don't have a good Piplup voice. Okay, oh, there's Cosmog. Oh, here's a. Ooh, here's our Hollow, or Reverse Hollow, excuse me. Uh, tag team trainer Misty and Lorelai. 
Search your deck for up to three water energy cards. Makes sense, given Misty was the gym leader. But look at that <laughs> freaking. Who are you want? Who do you want to grow? Uh, I don't even want to. Misty in that pose. Yep. Uh, reveal them and put your hand them in your hand. Blah blah blah. When you play this card, you may discard five other cards from your hand. If you do, during this turn, your water Pokemon can use their GX attack, even if you have used your GX attack. Yeah. Our rare in the pack is a Swanna. You get a Fighting Energy. And a Great Catcher. Well, not an... Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> a Great Catcher. If you discard two other cards from your hand... So it's one of your Pokemon's bench GX. Okay. Uh, Probo Pass. And a Torqual. Torqual. Oops, that's it for the Cosmic Cooks. We got a Reverse Hollow. That's uh, that's what we're doing. How well we're doing so far. Let's do the Sun and Moon Pack. The not quite the oldest, but. I think evolution came before sun and moon. Or at the same time, maybe? Oh god, really? This pack is gonna fight me? Come on, pack. There we go. Huzzah! Alright. Chinchow. Ratata. Alolan Ratata. Ratatata. Frog and Roller. Always like that genre of music. Marini. Ooh, Crab Brawler. Always thought he was a water type. A fighting type. Crushing Hammer is our reverse hollow. And, uh, Queen Marina is the rare. Okay. And upside down fairy energy? <laughs> Don't know why it was upside down. Because I didn't do that. The wh wh Whatever machine put them in the pack put it upside down. Steeny. Herdier. And the charge bug. And uh, two reverse hollows so far. Nothing more rare than that, unfortunately. Which is. Uh, which can always happen when you pulling packs. I, I was almost tempted to say the reason I don't buy packs, but that's not the reason why. The reason is it's really hard to keep up with. And the fact that they constantly change. Every, like, I think it's quarterly. And it's, it's just hard to keep up with if I want to actually play competitively, which I would. I've done one pre-release event where I competed afterwards. Although I came in second, I believe. Yeah, pop it. Came in second in that pre-release tournament. Carbink. Blitzel. <laughs> Look at that Onyx art. Oh, that's a bunch of Diglett on above it. Nice. Spin a rack. Reverse Hollow is a mixed herbs or herbs, whether you want to pronounce the H or not. You may play two mixed herbs at cards at once. Play one card, remove a special condition from your active Pokemon. If you play two cards, heal 90 damage and remove all special conditions from your active Pokemon. This effect works one time for two cards. Oh, okay. And Shed Ninja is our rare. A Psychic Energy. A... Oh yeah, this guy, Faba. Sun and Moon. Put it... Something in the lost zone. 
God, I'm out of sync. A sightseer. She's got, she's eating something. And she's got a vanilla. Or what was the middle stage? I forget. And, whoop, we got a shady penguin. And a deli bird. At least it knows how to flap its arms. All we're pulling is from reverse hollow so far. All right, let's go on to the Sword and Shield, the newest packs. They'll probably put out new Sword and Shield expansion when it, when the DLC comes out. The Isle of Armor. Gossifleur, Goldine, Goldine, Diglett, Scorpy, Hootoot, Reverse Hollow is, aww, it's a yamper, so adorable, it's like a puppy wearing a flotation device, ooh, -hoo -hoo! That's what I was looking for. A Team Yell Grunt. Nice. Full art. Put an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon into their hand. So just yell at them loud enough. And I don't know. Eh, team Yell wasn't all that bad. Literally, they were, never, they were not true bad guys. They were just kind of there. They were just really obnoxious cheerleaders. A dark energy. A big charm. Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 30 HP. Oh, isn't it attached? It's gonna, as a tool. Okay, so you know, they don't heal 30. They get, I guess, 30 attached to their current health, which... Is technically either healing or just adding to their base HP. The wacky. And Poke Gear 3.0. Top card, seven cards to your deck. To your hand. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta put it on top. Gotta pull the, the freaking full art. Nice. Let's do another Sword and Shield pack. I like how it has Snorlax, uh, Gigantamax Snorlax on the cover. What was the other one? Oh, it had a Zygarde? Not, no, wrong game. Uh, Do Shield Dog. It had Shield Dog. Zygarde is freaking... <laughs> Sun and Moon. Why did I think so? Oh, yeah, because there were always rumors about uh, like uh, Zygarde getting his own game. No, he wasn't. He was before Sun and Moon. He was X, X and Y. Yeah, X, uh, Pokemon Z version. All right. So you got a Pinchurchin? Pinch? Pin? Pinchurchin. I know I've seen this Pokemon, but that name confuses me. I get Pin Cushion Sea Urchin, but Pin Church? No, Pin Kurchin. Pin Kurchin. It's Foxy. Luckily, having no redundant dialogue whatsoever. Nick it. Swiper, no swiping. I might as well put myself back so you can actually see the top of my head. My arms are longer. Fall toy. Chin chow. Cute. Reverse hollow is an energy retrieval. Nice. You basically energy from your discard pile in your hand. Very nice. The rare is a clay doll. 
knowing explosion. I hate explosion. I hate explosion. And uh, electric energy or lightning. I, f I forget. It's a no, it's electric because they're electric type. And freaking hop. Never really liked hop. Never watched the cartoon, didn't like him in the game. Dottler. He was just kind of annoying to me. And a potion. Good old standard potion. Uh, evolutions. Which I wouldn't complain about if I didn't still all still have my all my fossil in the basic Pokemon cards. Like this set's fine for people who don't have their original Pokemon cards, which I do. Caterpie. I I still have all this artwork. Drowsy. The artwork is iconic and I love it. It's like I already have it. Magikarp. Magikarp Corp. Corp Corp. Uh the Electabuzz with the black background. I think I I ha I still have probably the Electabuzz card I, I wrote on to or I don't know if I wrote on it, but I think I have one with the the stats change in its attack. I know I did that to at least one Pokemon card, the Rotata. Revert Ooh, that looks nice. The reverse hollow is a chancy. Starmie. <laughs> Ima Cooney's Dotuo. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that because in the original, uh, the third set, the gym leader set. So every every gym leader had their own Pokemon, which is this is a, this is a play on. Like uh, Brock's Onyx or stuff like that. Giovanni's, whatever. I still have those. I still have a bunch. But, freaking, I don't even remember the backstory of Ima Cooney. And it has a question mark in his name. Ima Cooney? Haunter. Ah, uh, the classic Haunter artwork. And a, ooh, a Blastoise Soul Link. Spirit Link. I don't have one of those. I think I don't have one of those. And the last pack of the evening is a Celestial Storm. Fitting with Rayquaza on the cover. Alright, so we got Clam Pearl, uh, Skitty, Low Tap, C Dot, Reverse Hollow is a Beldum, oh sorry, I thought that was a Reverse, nope, the Reverse Hollow is, is a Masquerade. Also, bug type doesn't have its own type. Oh, we got a hollow. We got a holographic aria dose. Nice. Psychic energy. Energy recycle system. Marsh top. And a stable eye. Oh no, I wouldn't say a uh, complete waste. We got a full art, Team Yell. We got in uh, four full art GXs. And we got that, where is he? Where is the boy? Where is he? Freaking Ima Cooney's. Doe duo. <laughs> this is for the hilarious stuff. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Oh, yeah, and the uh, oversight. Can you hear that? It sounds like a DJ scratching at the turntables. Okay. So yeah, that's been this unboxing. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you want more, be free to let me know in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe and blah, 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 blah. Until next time, keep safe and keep it weird. Bye. Bye-bye.